Well, at first she started getting sick every day before school. My dad just thought I was car sick, and then we found out I was anemic, and so we thought it was because I was anemic. Because she was like super pale, she was bruising. Uh, just like anything that happened, she was just not there, like she was super sick. When they did the blood test, they told me it was really, really bad, and that we were gonna have to come downtown. We didn't know exactly what it was, but then found out a day or so later that was leukemia. I completely broke down, I was crying. I was like, that can't be happening, that's never happened to any of us. But it was real and it was scary. We were in shock and I'll never forget my husband's face. It was just, it was horrible. I was kind of just in disbelief. You don't ever think like these things will happen to you, but it happened to me. And she was telling us everything's going to be okay and that not to worry about her because she's strong, she's really strong. Did you ever know that you're my hero? She had to go through a lot of chemo, had to go through radiation. We were here a very long time, about seven months total. I decided that I was going to shave my head so she wouldn't have to be alone in that like process. I was grateful that she was with me on that and she shaved her head and it, I don't know, it brought us together I think. Her chances were very slim. They were only about 26%. And I thought, that is not good enough. They told me that with a transplant, it would double, even make it three times. So this is not an easy process to find a donor. Even when you have Fiona and Harmony, you would think, twin, perfect match. And that just wasn't the case. So we scoured the world looking for somebody who would be a perfect match. And thankfully, Kids Beating Cancer is able to fund that match. If any of those cells had been hiding, during all this chemo and we didn't do the transplant, then they'd probably never get her back into remission. And I knew that we just had to move forward and try to do all we can to save her. And we don't know the person, the wonderful person that did that to save my daughter's life. So we'll always be indebted to them. Kids beating cancer were here all the time. They were always here with gifts. They always came to visit Fiona. It really helped her to deal with all the horrible things she had to deal with. Thank you, thank you, thank God for you, the wind beneath my wings. Thank you, Kids Beating Cancer. 